Hey, my name is Shane Foster. I live in the Cayman Islands and I'm 59 years old. I had hypertension. I'm a little heavy, so I had hypertension. Um, but I never had any uh, cholesterol or any real issues, so to speak. But I just kept an eye on things because I knew in the family there was heart issues. Before the summer, um, I was going to do a lot of diving, deep diving. and. Um, the doctor said he didn't like what he heard, uh, like a murmur, a swoosh. And so um, immediately I went off to, to Baptist to do further tests. The first time I met Mr. Foster um, is really a testament to technology. The first time I met him was actually virtually uh, from across the country. And we were able to meet via telehealth. I was able to review all his images, talk to him and his wife, and come up with a game plan. So, so Mr. Foster had uh, severe aortic regurgitation and we did a minimally invasive aortic valve replacement through a tiny incision, probably about this big, uh, up in his right chest. We are able to expose the aorta, get a fantastic direct view of the aorta. We remove the aortic leaflets, and then we suture a new aortic valve into place. In doing this, we always want to make sure we put the biggest valve possible so that he can have uh, returned to his function uh, a, a lot faster. So we would put a very large valve uh, uh, to replace his aorta valve. And then from there, we close up the aorta and, and, um, and we weed him off the cardiopulmonary bypass machine. So really and truly, I was up and running from pretty much day one. I, I was self-sufficient right away. Um, once as they released the tubes on day three, I was free and I was out the door uh, on day three. So uh, by the time I left, I was doing five or six or seven laps around the nursing station, um, feeling really good and saying, I can go home. Well, especially now that they offer uh, non-invasive and the level, the top level of expertise that Dr. Wynn brings to the table, you now have the finest facility there is. You can, you can accommodate anything to do with, with cardiology. Um, you guys are state of the art now as far as um, heart surgery. And I personally could have gone anywhere. I would have gone to the best, um, you know, of the best. So um, you guys are that now, in my opinion. You have a, an amazing facility. There's every reason to go there. I think the reason why um, patients and where other doctors should, should come to the Miami Cardiac and Vascular Institute are, are, are probably several fold. One, we have a lot of incredibly experienced physicians here who are nationally known in their field to address complex problems. Two, we are an institute and a center that is really focused on the patient in a multidisciplinary fashion, meaning that if you have some disease process, it's not just one doctor seeing you, it's doctors, experts from different specialties doing and recommending what's best for you. And that's what's best for the doctor, but what's best for you. I think that's, that's really important. And then three is our phenomenal team here, you know, our, our OR staff, our nurses, our PAs, which are, are just as important as being an operating room. Uh, hands down, the, the people here really try to strive and treat everyone like family members when they come through the front doors.